Well, as you can see, we are outside the Rotunda, home of champions, amateur and pro, Liam Smith. Well, still fresh from that amazing night in New York. And it's only a couple of weeks ago. I mean, has, yeah. have you forgotten about that already and you're moving on or are you still wallowing in that brilliant victory against Jesse Vargas? No, okay. no there's, been, there's been a lot going on since where I think, wow, it's not even two weeks ago. No, I mean, I've, had, I've had three games of footy since. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've had another good show with the Canelo thing after it, but mm. it does still seem fresh because... You know, everywhere I'm walking, people are still mentioning it, and you know, it was, it's a it's a historic thing fighting at Madison Square Garden. So it is finally starting to sink in now. Do you know what beef? I don't know ever. It's like it's the tune that girl, what everyone get along to, or they actually like you and your style. Or it's a bit of both. But that reception you got on after it as well, mate, it was something else. Do you know else. what I've said? I've said said before, and like the the, the tune, matching oh, like, well, ma when I say match room, the boxing shows have started playing that tune like to get the crowd yeah, going now, yeah. not like they do with Street Catalan and yeah. Um, but I've, I've I've used that for, for a long time now. Yes. And um it does get them involved and my personality kinda of brings them involved yeah. as well. You know, I do milk it a little bit and but that one surpassed everything for me. Without especially the minute I stopped Jesse, they put that song back on mm -hmm. and it was just Honestly, it was it even went off, more, didn't yeah. it? It did, it went off. And it was worse after the fight than before. It was bouncing, honestly, because it was one that I'll remember forever. I yeah. was going to say, if you know, without sounding soft, <laughs> like, no, without sounding soft, <laughs> you're in Madison Square Garden, you're getting that kind of everyone's in London, loving the performance, loving the fact you're a great fighter as well. Yeah, it was, yeah. yeah. That's got to be right up there. I know there wasn't a world title involved, a defence, winning it. That's got to be right up there. It is, and, it, and I think it, it goes probably up there at, at the top, to yeah. be honest with you, because... Yeah. If you ask everyone who come with us, everyone, every, all, all, it was just everyone together. So the week was brilliant. And we've had some top weeks over years, even with yourself, yeah. even with, you know, just me, me brothers. We've had some unbelievable tips through boxing. But that one was just perfect from start to finish. Um, sometimes we've had top weeks and you go, you know, results are sad. We had a laugh, didn't yeah. we? Or it was a boss week, but the result, the, the whole week building up to it was brilliant. I've done the weight okay. The fight was a boss fight to watch. I still got the stoppage. Then after the fight, you know, the not real with the after parties. I don't really have the one. I went and seen everybody. The fight in the fiddler. I think it's called yeah, the fiddler. It was like Liverpool. It could have been somewhere I down know. there. Do you know what I mean? I know. Here he is. Here he is. And then, like, and then the Sunday when the plan yeah. one what I had. I always mm. plan the Sunday. So the Sunday what we had plans. We were in Carragher's bar all day. Then. This club done an unbelievable thing for us. They let everybody in. They had all pictures of me on this big screen yeah. at the club and they just couldn't do enough for us. And even that night was was, was brilliant. It was just, it couldn't have went any better for me. Honestly, I couldn't. It's a great build to be on as well. And you were definitely an Irish scouser that night, weren't you? I mean, with <laughs> yeah, Katie doing what she did as well, it was uh, it was some night, wasn't it? And did you have a word with Katie afterwards? I mean, did you did you kind of get the buzz off what she'd just been through as well? Yeah, I did, and you know, we we seen her just before a ring walk. We were on the door of our changes, you know, wishing, wishing, her, wishing her luck. And I spoke to her the next day on the phone, and you know, she's just, she's just a, 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 a mm -hmm. top, top, you know, human being to be fair to her, and yeah. and, and that's like I say, she's just done something so historic. And I thought, and I, and I, when I spoke to her on the phone, you know, I congratulated Brian Peters and and the whole team really, and then she got on the phone to me, and it was just I said, you know, thanks for letting me share a part of that night, and. Everything I was trying to, I said, by the way, you've got some, you've got some, you know, you showed some art there and she's an animal and, and everything I was saying to her, she was just complimenting me back. And I instead of just, I thought, you know, you, she's just lovely that she wouldn't sit there and take a compliment. She was like, I was like, thank you for letting me share the bill. And she's like, no, thank you for being on it. Your fight was brilliant. And instead of just taking, taking a compliment, yeah. she was just trying to like compliment me back. Yeah. And I just, I thought she's a top, she's a top lady, like. Beef. So now, obviously, that that sort of serves as a world title eliminator. What are you thinking now? What's the plans from here? Well, you've known me a long time now. I'm yeah, open to anything. To you know what I mean? I'm, I'm anything. Put a fight to me. I'll I'll, I'll I'll have a think about it. it. Makes sense to me, mate. Where do I sign? Yeah. And um, when I look, I'd sign anything, even if it didn't make sense. But I'm a little bit long in the tooth now. I'm 33, so yeah. Want to say if it makes sense to me and my family, then then where do I sign? I'll shy away from no fight. I never have. Yeah. I never will. And um, whether it's Castano, Charlo, Rima, uh, whether it's the winner of Charlo, Castano, whether it's, you know, any 
any any 154 in the world really I'll take and then obviously there's been talks of, of the Eubank fight so yeah. again even with that one where there was sign I'll, I'll step on my way how much fun would that be by the way yeah, it would. Obviously, Star Wars would be very good. Know what I mean? Forget the fight. I, yeah, and uh, you know, obviously, I'm not one for the for the antics before, and so yeah. probably would be interesting. But I do think it'll still be it'll be a tough fight. Also, Star Wars, and it'll. Uh, I think that'll be that'll be fun to watch. I was going to say the one I was going to say that's getting mentioned a lot is Tim to do. Yeah, you've no, got no problem going over to Australia. No, and I never have. And, and to be fair to them, they did offer me the fight. I, yeah. I'll, I'll never say oh, they never offered me. They offered me the fight, but it yeah. just did not make sense. Yeah. They offered me the fight in seven weeks. It was seven weeks to the day they offered me. Yeah, no, it's but I had to go to Australia two weeks from the day they offered me. Yeah. with five weeks. And when I got to Australia, I had to quarantine in a yeah. house for two weeks oh, yeah. and train in the house. And I thought, well, Tim's used a you know a tough fight. It's a world level fight. I'm not. Going in, training in the living room of a house. Yeah, yeah. Going into a huge fight. I'm, I'm not in a position where I can afford losses now. Oh, you can lose and you can come back, Liam. No, like I said before, I'm 33. So if it doesn't make sense to me, then I'm, I'm not taking it. And that was one. And I still stand the entire that Tim Zoo fight will happen. I said it. Yeah. I said it when they offered me it, it'll happen down the line. And, you know, I've won two fights since then. And uh, I still feel that fight will happen, whether it's for a vacant title. We yet to see after what happens, you know, with Charlo Castano, but I do think that Tim's new fight will happen. Just a word about the fight we've just witnessed, because everyone's going to bring it up for you because you've shared the ring with the fella, you've got history there. But Canelo, well, he was outdone by Bivol, wasn't he? I mean, he Bivol was, yeah. was too big, too good, uh, and it's like heavy, isn't it? It's a different thing. But did it surprise you, knowing what you know about the man? Uh, you know what surprised me I, and, I, and I say it on record that I feel Canelo massively massively overlooked Bivol and I feel he's overlooked him in the gym because I, I, I've never seen him gas like that and it's not even like you could say ah oh, he's definitely struggled with weight there because he hasn't yeah. but I also thought to myself looking at him at the weigh in I'm with I you. I what you're going to say. Mm, you're not soft but you're not it like was carrying you, a bit for the yeah, first time thought, wasn't you it? You are not like you usually are yeah. now if he fights Bivol again fight him at 175 I'd still probably come in at 170 and look a little bit more solid he, he always looks solid he always you know he's got that glow about him he for always the first time bollocks. it looked like he was carrying a little yeah, bit of excess did. didn't and it and I thought yeah. that crowd the way in yeah. and I just thought ooh you're not you're not as solid as you usually look and now it explains why I thought that because I feel it showed in his performance I don't think he's which is mad because he's, you know, he's the best in, in, the, in the sport but he hasn't given it as full camp like he usually gives. Yeah. That's what that's what I thought was noticeable. Just a word about your football. Yeah. Got a couple more questions for you. Not not stuff that we're gonna really want to talk about, Anthony, yeah. but it's gotta oh, be spoken shit. about. But you said you've had three games of football since you got back and I actually fully believe that. I and mean, that's definitely true, yeah? Yeah, I have definitely yeah. true. Yeah, you know, Bradley Bradley. So so obviously the league we're in now, we get we get a lot of people watching the games now, it's top league to be fair, um, and Bradley come and watch the other day and so I'm playing and as the ball's gone on for a throw in I, I just look to the right and there he is and he's just said you are round the bend <laughs> and, and, and I thought it was because I'd been out the night before <laughs> <laughs> I'd been on the ale on the Saturday and uh, so obviously and, and it, was the, it was the night after Canelo so I obviously had yeah. a late night yeah. as well and uh, I said why and he said Oh no, for Edges, you got stitches in your eye so it was only the next day I got the stitches out <laughs> so I still had the stitches in the eye but he said you're round the bend it's Finally, from me, this weekend, we spoke about what could be next. Charlo's name's been mentioned, Castano. Last time, a lot of people thought Castano had done enough. Yeah, I did, yeah. How do you see it going weekend? I'm going to go with Castano again, only because yeah. I also feel... I feel the weight's getting to Charlo, Charlo now. I don't think he can go with the... the not really the pace Castano sets, but he just he throws lots of punches. He's exciting to watch. And when he yeah. gets in the pocket, he'll let his hands go. And, uh, I just think... I, I think that it's getting... Time now he's a big yeah. he's a big 154 Charlie. He always has been. You've seen his twin brother go to 160. Now talking going to 168. I think that'd be his opportunity to move move up. into 160. Yeah, and so I, I feel he does it either way. Char Charlo, I think he goes to 160 even if he wins, and you know if he loses. But I, I head towards Castano. Yeah. To win it. Just before you go, a couple of quick fire ones. I know you're at the FA Cup final this weekend. Yes. Right. Has the league gone? Yeah, I do. I think they won the league yesterday, to be honest with you. Uh, and that was a big result for them winning that game. You know, we probably hoped for a draw. 
Uh, but I'd love to see West Ham get something just so it goes to the last game of the season. We still got a chance, but you're asking me opinion then. I think that won in the league, that win yesterday. FA Cup though? We win the FA Cup and we win the Champions League and it's still a good season all round. It's a kind of treble, isn't it? It's not the proper treble, but it's a treble. Don't, do not you know what? If the football gods are aligned, they'll win the Carabao <laughs> Cup. And that'll be it. Imagine, imagine. No, I, I just think, you know, from looking at last season to this season, you know, we we had the Allison situation last year and scraped yeah. into the Champions League. If we go and win that, and obviously if we win the FA Cup to add to the, to the Carabao Cup, we lose the the league by yeah. we'll probably be. You know, yeah, but don't want to be a goal most. difference. If you lose the league, you lose the league. You know league. what I mean? <laughs> so it's one of them, mate. But um, I think you we can't the complain. Cup final last night. No, I didn't. You know, mate. Cup final uh, clutching at straws here, aren't I? Think. In fairness, that's, yeah, what, it's to, mate. Thing, that's what it's come to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate! Honest to God, we really cut that there. <laughs> and uh, Ansi turned up on time as well for for this chat. So that's just, we'll apologize. just leave it there. You just think I'm a divvy, honest to God. Just turns up when he wants. You ask not, me, mate, ask me, will I come in on me day off? I do. You're a great I'm guy. here for nearly two hours. I can only apologise. You've been to this gym a hundred times, so you can't still need a postcode. I did, but I'm, <laughs> I, I know where I am now. <laughs> honest, mate. Well, we let you off. Nice one.